Meet Honor Blackman, a renowned actress known for her roles in television and film. Have you ever wondered about lesser known facts or anecdotes about her that fascinate you? Can you recall the first work of hers you watched? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned as we'll be sharing funny, shocking, and sad facts about her. Keep watching for more. In the realm of film and television, there are those whose influence goes beyond their roles, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Born in 1925, this individual's journey through the entertainment world coincided with a period of significant change. Their ability to adapt to the evolving industry landscape showcased their talent and versatility. One of their most memorable performances was in a famous spy movie released in 1964, where they portrayed a character that became iconic, challenging stereotypes and paving the way for others. In addition to their cinematic success, they also made waves on television, notably in a spy series where their character broke new ground for female representation. Beyond their on-screen achievements, their impact resonated with societal shifts shaping and reflecting the norms of their time. Today, we celebrate not just a talented actor-actress, but a trailblazer whose contributions continue to inspire. Their legacy lives on, reminding us of the power of storytelling to transcend boundaries. In 1962, she started her journey with a popular TV show called The Avengers and an episode titled Death Dispatch. This was just the beginning of her career. Later on, she became well known for her role as Pussy Galore in the movie Goldfinger. What made her performance special was not just her talent, but also her age. She was 39 when the movie came out, making her the oldest actress to play James Bond's love interest. This achievement was important because it surpassed a record previously held by another actress named Maude Adams. She was 38 when her Bond movie, Octopussy, premiered in 1983. There was a lot of excitement about Monica Bellucci possibly breaking this record in the movie Spectre when she was 51. However, her role in the movie turned out to be brief and didn't involve any romantic connection with James Bond. What stands out about her is her strength and independence. In 2002, she declined a British honor, showing her strong principles and dedication to her work. Both on and off screen, she showed herself as a person of substance and determination. In the world of movies, her achievements show how women have progressed and broken stereotypes. She has left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Her story will be remembered and valued for a long time. From her well-known role in a certain spy film to her earlier work in a TV series, this actress smoothly transitioned between different projects. Before landing her role as a memorable character, she didn't need to audition because the producers knew her capabilities. The character's name caused a bit of a stir upon the movie's release, especially with American censors. But an encounter with royalty at the British premiere unexpectedly changed the situation and made headlines. Born into a family with government connections, she grew up alongside her older sister, with her father's career influencing their upbringing. These personal details give insight into the actress's background and upbringing. Her journey from the small screen to the big screen highlights her talent and adaptability. Her portrayal in that spy movie remains a significant moment in her acting career. In the world of entertainment, dedication to craft often shines through in unexpected ways. Take, for instance, an actress who, in preparation for a role, immersed herself in the world of judo, mastering the art to bring authenticity to her character's fight scenes. However, the harsh studio floor, made of unyielding concrete, added an extra layer of difficulty to her already demanding performances. This actor's portrayal of a memorable character in a certain spy film solidified her status as a beloved figure, captivating audiences with her charm and strength on screen. Sharing moments with a legendary co-star further cemented her place in cinematic history. The passing of both this actor and her co-star marked the end of an era in film. She left this world, leaving behind a series of memorable performances, followed later by her co-star. Following the loss of another cast member, she assumed the mantle of the oldest living cast member, a reminder of her enduring presence in the entertainment industry. Her departure from the limelight paved the way for another talented individual to take on her role, an event that tragically occurred just months before the latter's own passing. The baton of influence passed from one individual to another, leaving a lasting impression on fans everywhere. Her contributions to cinema will always be remembered and cherished. At the age of 28, she stepped into the role of Kathy Gale in The Avengers, setting the stage for her portrayal of Pussy Galore and Goldfinger. In a memorable moment, she introduces herself to James Bond, played by Sean Connery. Originally, Bond's reply was considered too suggestive and had to be changed or bleeped in certain markets like India. 
She attributes her acting career to her father, who, on her 15th birthday, gave her a choice of bicycle or elocution classes. Opting for the classes, she swiftly polished her skills, making a splash in the entertainment industry. Her performances captured hearts, earning widespread acclaim. Throughout her remarkable career, she consistently pushed boundaries, redefining the role of a leading lady in film and television. Her influence as a trailblazer and cultural figure persists, inspiring generations of budding actors and actresses. At 15 years old, she faced a significant decision to get a bicycle or refine her speaking skills. She chose to work on her speaking, a choice that shaped her future in unexpected ways. Later, she played a memorable role as Pussy Galore in the movie Goldfinger. Initially, there were doubts about her voice, but the director fought to keep it, recognizing its unique charm. Despite doubts, she proved herself as the perfect pussy galore, captivating audiences with her performance. Beyond acting, she wrote a book called Tips on How to Look Great at 60, sharing her wisdom on aging gracefully. Her father's ultimatum at 15 led her on a path of self-improvement. Her journey from that crossroads to becoming pussy galore and an author reflects her resilience and determination. In summary, her journey from a crucial decision at 15 to becoming an iconic character an author showcases her resilience and determination. Recognized by Empire Magazine in 1995, this actress ranked as one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history at 51. Hailing from London, England, she refined her acting skills at the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. In a notable movie role, she portrayed a character in a famous Bond film. In this movie, she shared the screen with another actress, marking a significant age difference between the two Bond girls. This age difference record was eventually surpassed by another Bond film years later. Throughout her acting career, she made a lasting impact both on stage and on screen, captivating audiences worldwide with her talent and presence. Her brother Ken passed away at the age of 35. In her role as Pussy Galore in Goldfinger, Honor Blackman, who is five years older than Sean Connery, stands as one of two Bond girls older than the actor portraying James Bond. The other is Diana Rigg, who is one year older than George Lazenby from On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Monica Bellucci, the oldest Bond girl at 51, doesn't qualify as a main Bond girl inspector and is therefore excluded. Producers Harry Saltzman and Albert R. Broccoli were determined to cast Honor Blackman as Pussy Galore. They went to the extent of incorporating her judo skills into the script, showcasing their resolve to secure her for the role. In a documentary from 2002, an actress famous for her role as a Bond girl shared her perspective on her character. She mentioned that the character's behavior was influenced by the villain's mistreatment, and the charm of the main character helped her rediscover her true feelings. Another famous series, which has connections to the James Bond franchise, featured the same actress in one of its episodes. Interestingly, this episode shared its name with one of the James Bond movies. There are several actors who have appeared in both this series and the Bond films, creating an intriguing link between the two. Additionally, a Bond film introduced a character with the same name as the series mentioned earlier, portrayed by another actor. Despite the actress's notable portrayal in one of the Bond movies, it's worth noting that another actress, in a brief appearance, received more attention from the public and media than the lead Bond girl herself. In March 1964, she wrapped up filming her final episode of The Avengers. Following her second marriage to Morris Kaufman, she welcomed two adopted children into her family, a daughter, Lottie, and a son, Barnaby. Beyond her acting career, she actively supports Fair Trade, an organization dedicated to ensuring fair treatment and livelihoods for third world producers. Through her involvement, she strives to make a positive impact on global trade practices. In the making of Goldfinger, when she was 39, she became the oldest actress to play the main Bond girl. In Shilako, she quickly took on the role of Lady Daggett when another actress dropped out. After the success of the Avengers TV series, Decca Records asked her and Patrick Mackney to make a fun record of kinky boots. Although Patrick thought he couldn't sing, she coached him at a pub and advised him to speak his lines. The song didn't do well at first, but became a hit in 1990 when re-released, reaching number five. The story shows her versatility and willingness to work creatively, not just in acting. She made a significant impact on both small and big screens, as well as in the music industry. In 1964, Honor Blackman became the first English actress to portray the main James Bond girl in Goldfinger. Diana Rigg followed suit in 1969. The world premiere of Goldfinger was held in London, where Sean Connery couldn't attend due to filming commitments. For the French premiere, Connery drove an Aston Martin DB5 down the Champs-Élysées. 
At the event, 60 women were gilded, reminiscent of Shirley Eaton's character in the movie. One woman even managed to get into Connery's car, leading him to cease attending James Bond premieres until 1967. At the age of 20, Honor Blackman married Bill Shanky, an older businessman. In her early career, she secured her initial role in The Guinea Pig, marking her debut in London's West End. Later, she gained widespread recognition as Pussy Galore in Goldfinger. Following the passing of Sean Connery in October 2020, Shirley Eaton, who portrayed Jill Masterson, became the last surviving major star from the film. Tragically, Honor Blackman passed away on April 5, 2020, followed by Margaret Nolan, who played Dink the Mashews six months later on October 5. Connery's demise occurred within three weeks of Nolan's, bringing closure to this chapter of cinematic history. Notably, during her time on the television series The Avengers, she experienced a falling out with co-star Patrick Mackney upon her departure. This led to years of silence between them, reflecting the complexities that can arise in professional relationships. During her time on The Avengers in 1961, she learned judo and did her own stunts. After leaving the show, she acted in movies and TV. You might know her as Pussy Galore in Goldfinger. Even after The Avengers, she kept acting, showing how good she was. She inspired many people to follow their dreams in entertainment. Her journey is a story of never giving up. She is still remembered today for her talent and hard work. Starting from a desk job in Bournemouth's home office, this individual found themselves clarifying their unique Christian name, often questioned if it was real. They affirmed that Honor was indeed their given name. Renowned for their role as Pussy Galore in a famous spy movie, they showcased talents beyond acting. In 1965, they authored a book titled Self-Defense, sharing expertise in this field. Transitioning from civil service to a memorable role in a film and subsequently sharing knowledge through a published work, their journey reflects versatility in career choices and talents. The recent loss of another notable actress reminds us of the memorable characters we've seen on screen. In a famous James Bond movie, she played a character named Pussy Galore, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. She also appeared alongside Sean Connery in another film called Shalako, adding to her list of acting credits. During interviews, she would often humorously repeat her character's name, showing her fun side. Her work in action movies, particularly spy thrillers, will be remembered by many. The actress had a significant influence on film and culture, touching people around the world. Known for roles in film and television, this individual was once a supporter of the Liberal Party of Great Britain before shifting allegiance to the Liberal Democrat Party in 27. Openly critical of a fellow actor for accepting a knighthood from a country where he makes no financial contribution, she remains a noteworthy figure in the entertainment industry. Despite differing political views, her acting career is memorable for performances in various productions. An outspoken nature adds depth to her public persona, making her a figure of interest beyond the screen. Involvement in politics and candid opinions reflect active engagement in social issues. Throughout her career, there's a willingness to voice beliefs, even if they differ from popular opinion. These aspects contribute to her significance as an actress and public figure. Despite the passage of time, she continues to impact both the entertainment industry and political discourse. In a surprising turn of events, Honor Blackman, known for her roles in popular films and TV shows, once pursued a career in singing before transitioning to acting. Despite her success in the entertainment industry, she faced a personal tragedy when her first husband, Bill Sankey, tragically passed away in a car accident. This heartbreaking event left a lasting impact on her life and career, shaping her into the resilient actress that audiences came to admire. Despite the sorrow she endured, Honor Blackman persevered, continuing to captivate audiences with her talent and charisma on screen. Her journey serves as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. In an unexpected turn of events, a renowned figure from the entertainment world initially pursued a different career path before finding fame on the screen. Before becoming known for their roles in various productions, including a memorable stint in a popular TV series, they started off training in a completely different field. However, Destiny had other plans, leading them towards a journey filled with ups and downs in the world of acting. Throughout their acting career, they faced personal challenges, including the heartbreaking loss of a loved one at a young age. Despite the setbacks, their dedication to their craft never faltered. Their commitment to delivering captivating performances earned them admiration from audiences worldwide. Beyond their on-screen persona, they were remembered for their kindness and humility, leaving a lasting impression on colleagues and fans alike. 
Despite the obstacles, their enduring impact in the entertainment industry continues to be celebrated. Their resilience and talent serve as a reminder of the unpredictability of life's journey. Their work in the industry remains cherished, ensuring that they will be remembered for years to come.